am I, Dee? So oh, I'm Nell. We're one to our diet consultants, and this week we are going to talk about the common mistakes people make on plan, so that hopefully either you can be like, yep, I've already done those, so don't feel so alone. Or exactly. if it's you not haven't just started, you can be like, okay, maybe I'll try and avoid them. <laughs> yeah. And that, yeah, I think, I mean, the number one mistake that people make on plan, which is going to be incorporated into a couple of things that we say this morning, um, are um, the, not taking it seriously, not not giving it the attention and the focus and the planning that it that it that it deserves. Um, and, and then by extension that you deserve. Um, and I think we're at a point where we're, we're, we're at our top weight. Uh, we've seen somebody lose lots of weight we get in touch and we want it yesterday and uh it's it's a lot of pressure for us um because you know we want to be fairy godmother we, we're not miracle workers well we are we kind of are um but uh but it really it really does deserve a bit of planning and a bit of preparation and prioritizing and i think especially with the one-to-one we can um be un- uh, you know that 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 sort of toxic end of diet uh, can be reflected at us it is not coming from us but it is it's reflected at us that that the only way to do it is to go total deprivation to take everything away and to to just abstain from all responsibility and we are here to tell you that on plan you need to do things you need to get involved with being on the one-to-one diet you need to be organized and give it the the time in your life for project you because it is really important and you can't um you can't do it by just taking everything away and because it often leads to um to disliking it, disliking yourself, disliking the environment that you've put yourself in. Um, And I don't know if I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Nobody ever hated themselves into losing weight successfully. So we want to set you up from the start uh, that if you're just sort of doing your research and you're looking around and you're thinking about this, take your time, learn what you need to learn, really think about the, the, you know, the level of support, the kind of engagement that you're looking for, the kind of structure, the kind of coaching, the kind of plan, and then go from go from there. And whilst you're doing all of that thinking and prep, drink some water. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, you can if you try and wing it too much, it's not going to work. You've, you've got to give it that attention, prioritise it in your life, decide to put yourself back towards the top of that list. Absolutely. So you yes. Your health and well-being first. And yes. And I think things. oftentimes we want to start pl- the plan and lose weight and, and key into feeling better in a, in a whole lifestyle, you know, re rejiggle. Um, it, you know, weight loss is one way that we can kind of come at that. And I think that that is in itself is brilliant. Um, but again, we can be overly t- target driven and overly focused and, and not necessarily ask for the support that we need to see the wood for the trees. Um, yes. And that can lead into the, the a couple of the next things that we want to talk about, which is seek the support and the expertise that you're looking for. If you're looking at the one to one diet, come and ask us about it, because it's about finding the right plan for you. And that is not necessarily the one that the lady at work is on. Yes, exactly. And that does lead into our next point of finding not just the right consultant for you, but then agreeing with that consultant how you are going to engage in the process with them to get the support that is going to work for you and your lifestyle and what your expectations between each other are yeah, and, and one of, you set up and one of the most common mistakes is um uh well i read about it she's doing it i'll just do it exactly like that i'll order in some products and it's really simple right so i'll just crack on and if it doesn't work out it's because i didn't want it badly enough um and really have a think on kind of you know where are your pitfalls you know what are your triggers you know it, it does bring a lot of this stuff to light and having somebody to to reflect uh, with so that we can plan and we can progress and we can stay in the game. And that is a lot of what your consultant will be able to provide. So you need to uh, you need to take a deep breath and ask for the support that you need. And don't isolate when that voice in your head says it's because you just want it badly enough. Um, it's one of my little bugbears is peer to peer support as well. Um, a, a lot of clients, um, a lot of slimmers will actually come a cropper in support groups. Um, and I know they're very tempting and I know lots of people. People, you know want to buddy up and things and I and I'm all for more support um, but you really need somebody who understands the plan and the best way to get results um, and the better I know where you are as an individual rather than just 
peer-to-peer -peer support is all well and good all the time it's going well but it only takes one person to to fall off the wagon and it can rumble everybody and it's fundamentally taking the focus away from you you are who I'm interested in when I'm working with you you are you know you are my we this is the one-to-one -one. and I think it's really important just to circle back around to what I said to prioritize yourself this is project you and it is all about you and your needs and getting results for you and that might look different than it does for people in a Facebook group yeah exactly and if you can build that relationship with your consultant when things are going well it kind of staves off that temptation when maybe things have not been quite as you expected them to be or we've had an event and struggled to get back on plan or it's just gone a little bit awry the temptation as Nell said is to isolate to not contact your consultant to be like oh I won't go to this week's appointment I'll cancel that and I'll catch up or to go week. to the support group who are not there to hold you accountable yes They're going to do what okay. slimming groups do which is say oh never mind hun you know better luck yeah. next time and what you're going to get from your consultant which is what you might be shying away from which is it ain't got nothing to do with luck yes and so the it's not a strategy that you yeah. actually need the tool yeah. the and, it, and, it, and it's brave it's hard to turn up to those appointments where if you, not hard because I don't want to make it difficult for you but it's difficult to have the courage to ask for the support that you actually need not yeah. shy away from that accountability and the and the staying in the game the okay this happened but what happens next yeah it's and a very vulnerable is, place to be isn't but it, it is a cornerstone of successful successful yeah. weight loss because it is a cornerstone of successful maintenance as well and we can't shy away from it yeah, if you can reach out to your consultant in challenging times, let them know what's happening and either say, I don't know what I need, what suggestions you have, or I think this is what I need. Then we can meet you exactly where you are with tactics, with strategies, with advice. That means you can start moving back in the direction that you would like to go in a way that supports you and does not make you feel worse than you already do. Exactly. Back up. And, and doesn't leave it as an ephemeral thing that's somewhere in the air, that's something to do with mindset, tangible. that sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. Just and get back and, on and plan. We what don't, does that mean? And we don't just <laughs> want to leave it to, it. it's not luck. It's not yeah. luck. Um, so one of the one of the common mistakes that people make is that in doing all of this, they they create their own step. Um, because it does take a bit of responsibility and headspace um, to book your appointments, to, to turn up, to, to stay ahead of some of those common mistakes so that we're not firefighting, so that you and I are working together, are not troubleshooting. It's not phoning me after it's happened. It's keeping in constant touch, just rumbling along within touching distance so that there is that open dialogue all the time. Um, and again, that helps to keep it in focus. It helps to not keep it, it you know, it's something, some dirty dark secret that we're just kind of doing on the side um and again that's reflected from a lot of the shame and, and toxicity that comes from our societal views on dieting it's not coming from us so let's break that that's break down that wall instantly but when people do isolate one of the most common mistakes they make is that they start making up the plan they start just kind of winging it because it's two products and a mcdonald's right <laughs> you know yeah. and, and sometimes i think if only i got to her quicker if only i'd been there for him earlier i could have just redirected some of those little things that have just you know in amongst all the jargon in amongst all of the research the youtube the facebook book the what that girl's in the support group said you see how it's become so woolly so quickly we thought we were doing all of the things that you're supposed to do but actually what you need is that mainline expert where you can just text me and say can I use harissa paste yes why isn't Karen? That was one I got this week. It's a very common one. They're not. I'm just saying. Can you walk around <laughs> Asda with me? Because I'm standing yeah. here with two protein yogurts and I don't know which one to choose. Yes, that is exactly that for me is when I start going, yes, we've reached this yeah reach this point in our relationship where she he knows like and trusts me enough to know that I care and am involved enough in this level of detail to get it right for them and that's yeah. what matters if you're looking at the chart and going I don't know why she's making such a big deal out of it it's just three products and this meal it's not just 200 calories it comes from that list and it's important that you weigh it and let's work together because I've got buckets of ideas on how to make that more how to make it more palatable more sustainable easier and better for you and that's why when you see those before and afters and people go I love this plan it's a shorthand for I love this plan and everything that it involves all of those bits and pieces because when you really get into it 
it it blows things wide open it's not over deprivation please don't over diet because if you over diet you withdraw from all of the good bits as well yeah and i think that brings us on to one of our uh, next points is make sure you choose the right step for you and that does not have to be the lowest step that's ever existed it might be step one that might be the perfect step for you right now and you're absolutely loving life it's simple it fits in with you it does what you need it to do but there is no shame if that is not the right answer no and you again a big part of what, I, what we consider our job to be is knowing and knowing where yeah. you are enough to stay ahead so all the time those lowest steps are absolutely liberating they're golden you love them they're doing the job and it feels like something that you get to do then have at it keep going yeah. the minute but it's not like hearing, that yeah. And if I don't have those regular conversations with you, I don't start hearing those little hallmarks yeah. of this is starting to become a grind. This isn't what I wanted it to be anymore. We can stay ahead. We have options. We, you know, it's it's very difficult if it, if we get to that too late. So again, that that staying involved in the in the supervision and the, and the process, even though you might well be listening to this video going. It's a common mistake because uh, I think people find it difficult to believe that that really is the offer. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah, it is it very common, and it's very common that we might actually be in your back pocket, ready to yeah. go anytime when you need help. But that is the offer. That is the magic that makes this easier and simple, and makes it. And when you say anytime, it. it's not a twenty-four hour hotline. Yeah. You do I'm not awake at one a.m. I'm not going to lie. You do have to take the responsibility to book those appointments and to um in to hang around enough to understand the value that a good consultant ads um and uh, and there will be long periods where you are doing so well on plan that we really don't need much contact and that's fine i can take no for an answer but i think one of the most common mistakes people make is not getting set up well enough so we might do a different video on how to prepare uh, yeah. just bare bones on how to how to have the very best start because if you can get through those first couple of weeks man you're gonna love it you're Lying. gonna fly and you're gonna want to talk to me yeah <laughs> and just while we're talking about the steps the you know, just know that whatever step you're on right now, that's not the step that you have to be on forever. You can step no. up for events. You can change step because your situation changes or you find the one thing you can't do is make it up as you go along. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That with the kind of in discussion with your consultant about how to facilitate that and what's going to be the best option for you and why that might work so that you can make yeah. informed decisions and make a plan, like we said before, we're not just winging it when we change step. We're making a plan so that that is still successful and you are still working towards your goal in the way that suits you and in a way that you'll be happy with and you won't be absolutely and and make it and make it sustainable. And and I think again, it's it's a very common mistake because we do like to tell ourselves that we're just we're just we're just doing it for now. We're just we're just uh, we're just trying it on, but we're not. We're going all the way this time. And one of the most important things when you find the right step for you is that you drink enough water. It's a super duper common mistake on plan, and that could probably go into the other video on what are the most common mistakes people. Because I think we've talked a lot about the structure of the plan, but one of them is just water. Just water. And don't simple. overthink it. Yeah, I've got more water. It's, it's very simple and. I think that's the reason why sometimes it's the first thing to go. It's almost too simple, but it's really easy to forget, especially if you're very busy or especially if you're in the car a lot. Um, you don't necessarily want to drink a lot of water, but you need to get your water in. You need to stay hydrated. It's going to support your body in so many ways, but it's also going to support your weight loss. If you want your body to work as efficiently as it can for all the hard work you're doing with the plan. It needs to also be hydrated and have the water that it needs to function and give you the losses that you want. So it is really important. It's one of the first things that always disappears when things get a little bit wobbly at the edges. The water is the first thing that runs away. Um, and that is one of the first things that is going to set you up for a good day. I have so many conversations with swimmers. The ones that get up and have a glass of water first thing, because they're the most dehydrated, you've been asleep for however many hours, they are yeah, because you sleep really day. well when you're on plan, so you have actually exactly. been hours. Yeah. You have been waking up worrying about yeah. it, giving yourself a hard time about having to get yeah. on a diet. <laughs> and if you get that water in early doors, suddenly your body is get, has got something that it really needs, and now it's much better to make good decisions for yourself moving forward. There you are. You, you see, that's how easy product. it is. Yeah. I was listening to you, but also slightly yeah. when I'm drinking that, it was playing the gallery music in my head. <laughs> dum, 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 da, 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 da. Um, <laughs> so water yeah. is what we're saying 
Yeah, it's everything Heidi just said. And I did a water video a few weeks back um, about the how and the using using a straw. If you need to use a straw, have a pint glass. Oh, I really love, a, love a bit heavy base pint glass. Um, use a water bottle, use a Love Island water bottle with your name bedazzled on the side of it. Um, I don't care. Use the water flavorings. Um, but use, don't use blame us if you get a collection of pretty water bottles and cups. get into get into the <laughs> habit it's a, yeah. the, the whole thing is is all about habit change and uh, we are building towards the new and the positive as well and, and not just uh, you know isolating and breaking the breaking the bad and telling ourselves that we're you know we're awful and we don't you know it, it, it we we're building the new way forward as well from the very outset um and it's really important for habit change and it's really important for all of the you know kidney flushing de reasons that Heidi said as well yes yeah and let's you would like us to do an entire um video on constipation um then drink your water and save yeah. yourself from another 25 minute youtube video on that yeah yeah <laughs> exactly um and the last one that we're just going to touch on and we have probably talked about some things around it is that if things start going a little bit awry and maybe you're on step one and you've had a mouthful of chicken or you had a little bit of that kid's chicken nugget and and the common mistake is letting that grow inside your head to be a bigger problem than it actually is, and then throwing yourself headlong into an effort bucket. I don't think I can swear on YouTube, but it rhymes with bucket. Um, and you struggle to get out of it, and you're like, oh my God, I can't do this. I've, I've blown it, so I'll just stop and catch up next week. I'll start again on Monday, and it's only Wednesday. And not letting your consultant in for three or four days when you can't get back on it, and then going, uh, this happened. Don't do it to yourself. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> that was a very it's fulsome okay. description yes. <laughs> of, the, of the bucket, Heidi. Yeah. <laughs> How it works, though, isn't it? Like your brain yeah. starts and then it gets carried away with itself. And suddenly it's made this huge problem when actually there's nothing that's going to happen that we can't look at, learn from, make a strategy and start moving forward oh, and that in its and that in itself is hard is hard to hear that there's yeah. nothing that we can you know sometimes we just we just want a bit of we want a bit of drama we want we want to feel it we want to feel the highs and we want to feel the lows because actually when everything's going really well on planet everything can just kind of get a little bit you know we haven't got the highs of of Dope, you know the dopamine seeking with food and we don't have all of the the crashing shame spiral lows either everything can just kind of be nice and stable and we thought that's what we wanted but sometimes we you know we do crave a little bit of um and uh, drama. throwing ourselves bodily into the gutter um will achieve that it yeah. certainly it certainly will and it is a super common uh, common mistake on plan and, uh, and you may well continue to do it uh, throughout your journey uh, because you know th there's there's a lot to there's a lot to think through when you're losing losing lots of weight yes the plan is very practical but there's a lot that you know can bring up stuff as well and i think that that's a lot of where that comes from um also because you know if you if you if you look at a, the bare bones of the plan it could you know it can be accused of being so kind of straightforward and so limited um that it kind of triggers that very all or nothing mentality yeah. um but uh but there's there's no need you know it's it you know there's always room for more and hopefully we will never get to that point because we will stay ahead of it and we will have moved you up to a step where you have more flexibility um you know it, it it's often a hallmark of everything we said at the beginning which is that the, the over dieting and the over restriction and if i just disengage completely i'll be thin right um and it's not the reality of dieting so it all kind of comes back to to engaging in the in the process um and sometimes you know it is nice to have a little giggle at ourselves and the way that we behave <laughs> yes exactly yeah. and then having a big glass of water and finding a way forward but you know knowing that it's not just you um and that a little bit of extra chicken or a hard-boiled egg um you know is never going to you know what a slap up three course dinner is not going to ruin your progress it's not going to be that food one meal is not it. the food is not the enemy and we are not here to pitch food as the enemy um we are here to work with you um on your you know your behaviors your habits um our you know our 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 neural pathways they they run deep and we're not here to 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 
to talk about the to, to, to psychoanalyze that, but we're here to offer a very straightforward solution of what we can do instead, how we can move forward and lose the weight and build that new path um, so that we don't have to go above our pay grade and start trying to unpick and unpack, you know, all of those things. Um, but I do think that one of the most common mistakes that people must make on plan is that they underestimate that there is some thinking to do. Yeah. So by all means, please seek the support that you need, that wraparound support that you need to deal with how maybe how you got there in the first place. Some of it is deep and meaningful. Some of it may be a trauma response. Some of it may just be shoddy habits that we've built up because, you know, the commute doesn't allow us to drink that much water. You know, but, you know, we are we're here. We're here to listen. We're here for all of it. But do seek more support than and don't let it um come down boil down to it just needs to be less in and you know move yeah. more and, and eat less and I don't need her support because what I need to do is just bloody well not have anything because yeah. I've been so don't no absolutely time, don't yeah it? just cut that nonsense right now it's it's absolutely not true we're here we're here for you because we've been where you are and we have felt like that and that mental load of being overweight happens if you've got one stone to lose as much as if you've got 15 yeah. to lose if you find yourself there then it, the offer is is support and we are very good at signposting out to other things that can that can help, you know, books and, and other YouTube videos and other consultants that have dealt with similar things. And, you know, we, we, we've been doing this for such a long time now that we can take all of that knowledge and we can help to pull out the bits of it that we think, ah, oh, I've worked with somebody like this before. I've had this conversation before. I think she might be really helped by talking to this person and to help you you know, help yourself because that is Project You. It is you standing up for yourself, putting your boundaries in place. And the most common mistake that people make is not caring enough about themselves to do what they need to do. Nothing dreadful is going to happen on the other side of you standing up for yourself, working to better yourself through weight loss, if that's the angle that we're taking right now, and, 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 and succeeding. You know, yeah. nothing dreadful is going to happen. But it's going to feel a little uncomfortable along the way. I can yeah. guarantee that. <laughs> That's so. it. I think that it is that, you know, we're trying, you're doing something new, you're making a change. It's always going to feel slightly uncomfortable. Um, That's the reality of it. So that's why it's important to find the right consultant and don't run away right yeah plan. yeah get yeah. get involved stick around stay in the game whilst drinking your water and uh and and, and know that you, you know know that you're not alone exactly so hopefully those little tips have helped you um we will see you next tuesday as per usual putting up another video if you haven't already please subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss a future upload thank you for joining us this week have a good one bye bye